episode three of Battery 101. I'm Zach Zimmerman. Today we'll be covering battery discharging and how to choose your battery. Now, if you're new to batteries, you're probably pretty confused when I say battery discharging. And the easiest way I can explain it is by comparing discharging to charging. Battery charging is putting energy into the battery and battery discharging is taking energy out of the battery. Battery discharging is just as important as battery charging with good charging and discharging, you'll be able to get the most out of your battery and prolong its life. Plus, discharging your battery is pretty simple. But before you discharge or use the battery, check the battery condition first. And here are a few things that you should check. Are the cells balanced and fully charged? You can check this out on either a voltage meter or a charger. Are there any visible damages to the exterior of the battery? If you see any nicks, spent cells, swelling, do not use the battery and safely discard it. To check if your battery is puffed, you can put it on a flat surface and see if it rocks back and forth. If your battery rocks side to side, it is puffed. When you discharge your battery, there are two extremely important factors to consider. Never discharge your battery below 3 volts per cell. What's great is that most vehicles come with a low voltage indicator or a low voltage shutoff, but it's always good practice to be aware. Never discharge your battery if it's hot from either continuous use or being stored in a hot place. So discharging your battery isn't that difficult, but there are various things that you have to keep in mind. Next, we'll be going over three things you should consider when deciding on what battery to use. The ESC, or the electronic speed controller, the motor, and the capacity and the size. Be careful to note that the ESC and the motor can only handle up to a certain voltage. This is very important as utilizing voltages higher than the recommended voltage could result in a possible fire, Brine, damage, or even more harm to your vehicle and its components during discharge. Now this next part is key. You must always choose the lower voltage recommendation of the two components. If your ESC equals two cells at 7.4 volts, and your motor equals four cells at 14.8 volts. Well, if your ESC can only handle two cells at 7.4 volts and your motor allows up for up to 4S at 14.8 volts, you must use a 2S at 7.4 volts battery regardless of the fact the motor can take more. Your motor may run fine, but you'll fry the ESC. Let's move on to the last thing you should consider when choosing your battery, capacity and size. First, figure out how big your battery tray is, and that will be the maximum size for your battery. Now, if you own a more recent model of an ARMA vehicle, you may notice that you have an extendable battery tray. What's great about these trays is that they allow for higher MA without having to compromise for size. So what does this mean? For instance, let's say I wanna run an ARMA Crate in 8S. Arma makes it easy for me to find out my maximum size and capacity under battery recommendations on their website. The company lists that the maximum size of the battery must be within 180 by 55 by 53 millimeters for length, width, and height. There are many Gen Z's batteries that fall under these dimensions, but one particular item is the ADC 8000 Ma 4S EC5 that was manufactured specifically for larger Arma cars. Its dimensions are approximately 160 by 53 by 42 millimeter for length, width, and height. And here's something else to consider. Every vehicle's motor has a different draw requirement. But a good rule of thumb is that a 5000 mAh battery should last anywhere from 30 to 40 minutes with moderate to intense use. Well, that's pretty much all there is to select in a battery. It's easier than you think. I hope you learned something today. Uh, my name is Zach Zimmerman, and I've been your host once again uh, and thank you for stopping by. As usual, please give us that like, subscribe, hit us with some comments, maybe drop some things, some tips for picking out a battery that we might have glossed over. We're all here to help each other. Uh, and as always, be safe out there, and we'll be seeing you next time.